Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to look into multigroup analysis. Now, multigroup analysis is required when we want to check or evaluate if there are differences between or among different groups. For instance, I've got two groups, say male and females, and I want to check or evaluate whether or not the relationship that is significant in one group stands or is still significant in another group. Or I want to assess relationship or the differences or significance of difference between different groups for a certain number of relationships. In this case, I've taken this example where we have got the simple model, servant leadership, career satisfaction and life satisfaction. We have collected data from three different countries. Now I want to evaluate in this case whether or not there are significant differences in the relationship that exist. Now in order to do this the first step is to create your data groups. So in order to do this just click on the data file and then generate data groups. In this case our data group is country and it is represented in the data set as country and it has got three unique values because the data was collected from three different countries. So we select this. So there are three groups and number of cases, the minimum number of cases required is 10. So if for instance you conduct a study and you want to evaluate differences between groups and you do not want a group to have less than 10 cases so you mention the number of minimum cases here you can mention more than 10 as well now press ok and it starts to create the groups for you now here we are we've got three groups now let's edit them so that we, we we have a clear name and when we are doing our analysis we know which group is which one so it's 217 the records 217 represents Spain 211 represents Pakistan and 235 represents China. Now that the groups are ready, the first step is to see or evaluate just a basic model, just a basic PLS algorithm model to see whether or not there are actually differences in the groups or not. Only then we would need to do multi-group analysis. So let's go back to our model. We click calculate PLS algorithm and we are interested in let's let's do let's do path to see whether how, how significant are the paths and okay we are interested in all these three groups and we start. Okay, let's see our model. If we see our model uh, we have highlighted the paths using the absolute values and we see the, that the impact of CS or career satisfaction of life on life satisfaction is sort of uh, bolder in comparison to the impact of servant leadership on career satisfaction. But let's see, this is for China. So let's see if we go to Pakistan. This, the boldness increases in this case from China to Pakistan. The boldness increases. In China, the weight was 0.482. In case of Pakistan, the weight increases to 0.627. And if we go to Spain, well, it's almost similar. So now this data group or changes in the data groups is actually telling us there might be certain differences in the impact of career satisfaction of life set on life satisfaction between these groups. So it's narrower in case of China but it gets bolder in case of Pakistan so we want to know whether this difference this change is significant or not now this this does give us uh, a stimulus to run multi-group analysis and to make an actual comparing comparisons and to find out whether or not these differences in this regression weight or beta coefficient are significant or not so in order to do this we go to calculate we go to multi-group analysis 
we select our groups you can select uh, two from here and three from here to make a unique comparisons or even if you do all it won't make any difference you are interested in path analysis complete bootstrapping and percentile bootstrap two tail test all looks good full report and we start our calculation it might take a little time so i'll just go through it okay now here are our results now it gives us multiple outputs it gives us parametric tests when the uh, variances between the groups are equal now equal variance not assumed confidence interval but we are interested in pls mg now if we look here the impact of cs on ls between china and pakistan the difference is minus 0.145 so this shows that the impact was greater in pakistan in comparison to china but the difference was 0.145 is this difference significant we are interested in finding out the difference whether or not this difference was significant now if you look here the value is 0 0.048 this shows that there was a significant difference in the impact of cs on ls between china and pakistan the next one if you look here between China and Spain the difference is minus 0.189 so is this difference significant this is yes this is significant because it's the the p-value is 0 0.007 so the way career satisfaction impacts life satisfaction in China is significantly different to how it affects career satisfaction to life satisfaction in case of Spain so there is a difference in the impact or the relationship between these variables in the two countries. Another case, servant leadership and life satisfaction. And if you see which groups are these, China and Spain. So we see that there is a significant difference in the impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction between China and Spain. So this is how one can use multi-group analysis to understand whether or not there are differences in the significance of impact or in the impact of uh, one variable on another. So in this case, we know that three of the relationship were significantly different between the peers, uh, China and Pakistan, China versus Spain. So this is how one can use multi-group analysis. I hope this video would have helped you understand the, the need to use multi-group analysis. Thank you very much.